Hello, I'm Jeff Lehman of Archtop Music Therapy. This project is called Coin Identification. It teaches kids to receptively identify the four most common coins found in the United States. And those are... Quarter, dime, nickel, penny. Quarter, dime, nickel, penny. Each video begins with a preview of all four coins we're learning about. And then we focus on one single coin for each video. This is the first video, and we're going to focus on the quarter and its corresponding adjective that's going to help us find it, which is big. And now we're at the student participation portion of the video where the student has four chances to touch the targeted coin, in this case the quarter, from a field of four coins. The second half of the video is the same as the first. The only difference is the first half focused on the heads side of the coins and the second half focuses on the tails sides of the coins. Learning to identify the quarter, dime, and nickel by their sizes rather than their designs is important, especially for the quarter. There's a huge variety of designs for the backside of the quarter. There's designs for all 50 states and currently the Mint is rolling out pictures for 50 national parks and monuments. I structured the song to give students plenty of time to make their choice and when it's time for the next attempt the correct coin stays on the screen while the other coins fade out so children are able to use and learn from these videos independently Touch. We just finished video number one for the quarter, so now we'll look at video number two for the dime. Video number three is for the nickel, video number four is for the penny, and when your kids get really good, video number five is all four coins together in the same video. After learning that the quarter is the big coin, we're now learning that the dime is the small coin. Dime is small. Dime is small. Touch small dime. Once again, it's student participation time. And you'll notice that the adjective is built into the direction given to the student. So instead of just touch dime, it's touch small dime. Touch small dime. Touch small dime. All right, we're only halfway through the dime video, but I'm sure you get the point. So we're going to move on to video number three, the nickel.
You'll notice that each time I sing the four coins, they are presented in a different position on the screen. And this was not just because it looked cool, but because some children would tend to generalize that quarter means the coin on the left of the screen and penny means the coin on the right of the screen. So this eliminated that problem. Every other coin song I've heard always starts with the penny, and I guess this makes sense because the penny is the easiest to identify because it's a different color, but the penny is also the least valuable, so by definition, least important. Touch medium nickel. So by starting with the big coin, the quarter, and then moving on to the small coin, the dime, we have a reference point to identify the medium-sized coin, the nickel. Touch medium nickel. So by learning the coins in this order, we're learning the most valuable coin first, the second most valuable coin second, the third most valuable coin third, and the one cent penny last. So now let's take a quick look at what the penny video looks like. Penny is brown. Penny is brown. Penny is brown. Easy as that. After your student has mastered videos one, two, three, and four for quarter, dime, nickel, and penny, they are ready to move on to video number five, which asks them to identify all four coins in the same video. Quarter, dime, nickel, penny. So now instead of singing each description four times, each description is only sung once. Quarter is big. Quarter is big. Dime is small. Nickel is medium. Penny is brown. Touch big quarter. And now the student has one chance to touch the quarter, next to touch the dime, next to touch the nickel, and last to touch the penny. Once again, this is called Coin Identification. I hope you find it helpful. And my name is Jeff Lehman of Archtop Music Therapy. Thank you for watching.